Celebrating the greatest achievement in mankind's history, IVTN Network presents History of Space Travel, Ganymede. Ganymede, first discovered by the 17th century astronomer Galileo Galilei, it was just a distant moon orbiting the gas giant Jupiter, nearly twice the size of Earth's moon. Ganymede was old and battered with an icy surface that seemed too hostile for mankind. It was hard to believe that the International Space Exploration Union planned to colonize a base there. Despite opposition, ISEU launched its most challenging project in 2050, the Artificial Environment and Atmosphere Experiment, sending three automated spaceships to terraform Ganymede into a planet fit for humans. Heavy equipment set off giant chain reactions, eventually creating life. Even with the most advanced techniques, this process took years. Finally, in 2072, Ganymede was ready for habitation. New Atlantis, the base colony, was in place. It was an amazing transformation from such primitive beginnings. The colony was able to sustain large numbers of people and soon became home to thousands. But even the most progressive societies are flawed. Failed safety measures caused an explosion at the fusion power plant, killing dozens of workers. A grim reminder of human fallibility, ever present despite technology. Several members of the security force Here were we go fired again. as a result of this tragedy. What else is new? Security and safety guidelines became top priority for the Ganymede colony. <laughs> a special military unit was formed to prevent further disasters, but Ganymede still maintains its military independence. Unlike her, today's Ganymede is peaceful and stable. I better get overtime for this. 